Hey, Chris, how you doing, man? Hey, what's going on, man? You coming over? Well, I'm not coming over today. I can't come over, dude. I, Liz what? and I are going through a rough patch, I guess you could say. I'm at a hotel here, dude. I'm Pirate Cove. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you see back here. Rough patch, not on wake-up night, when we had already decided that we were going to shoot. What's that? Why, why can't you go through a rough patch on a night that wasn't Wacom shooting? I know. Well, this happened actually yesterday. I've been here for two days already. Tell me all about it. Well, okay. I went, uh, all we did was go out to eat, and we went out to like a, like a restaurant, Denny's, and I was going to order my food, but the waitress asked me what I wanted to eat, and so I ordered it, and Liz got mad at me because I was, huh? Did you get a skillet? No, I was getting the, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Basically just bacon and eggs, but, uh, there yeah. They cook it in a cast iron skillet and bring the cast iron skillet. Well, I didn't even get that far in the meal. I ordered the food, and Liz got mad at me for talking to a girl again. Oh my god. Seriously, dude. So, what? All I did was order my food. That's it. But she said the way I order my food. I don't know if you noticed. I'm single again. I got no ring on. At least temporarily. So now I'm paying thirty nine ninety nine to stay here. But the problem is we actually have to make this quick because the internet here is seven fifty per hour. Hey, um, use the gaffer tape that you have in the Wacom bag and roll it up into a ball and yeah. roll it on the bed and pillow to get all the bed bugs up. Oh, dude, I didn't even think about that. For the viewers. Oh, I did not even think about that. Yeah, you should do that before you lay down. Uh, well, it's too late. I already slept there last night, huh? Use it to take a shower but sleep in your car. That's what I would do. No, it's too late, it's dude. Thanks for hot water. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Wacom, Texas. The show where you dream past the part. We screencast some art. I'm Jay Myers. And I'm Chris Kerr. All right, here we go. As you, as you may have realized from the, the previous episodes... We are doing a multi venued art show with Cargo Space out of Houston, another couple galleries, and this episode is again dedicated to Cargo Space. To Cargo Space. So what uh, what do you have here? Is a landscape of some sort, like a desert landscape? Yeah, because it's Houston. Oh, right on. Everybody, I am using a ruler to make sure I get a really straight line for the, uh, mostly straight line. Well, you can fill that in. Yeah. Oh. Hey, got a little, That's all right. All right, so I'm going to drop down. So cargo van is basically a, a 1970s style Ford Econoline. I, actually, no, it's a bus. It's like a 1990s like um, city bus. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's I all right. Keep, to... You can just interpret. If you were to actually show up to our last uh, interview, honestly, that was embarrassing, Chris, with Chris and Duncan. Dude, I watched it and it looked mega embarrassing. It was no, you should have been there. It looked it, like that. Didn't, that wasn't even part of it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch it right away because I had a lot of paintings to do in my garden. Um, That's not cool, dude. You can't do that. That was I really, did. huh? I did it. Yeah, but now we're burned bridges. Now they, these guys are never gonna take us seriously. They think that it's some like joke show or something. Well, let's not talk about burning bridges. It's actually a problem in America. The infrastructure is such that they haven't been testing bridges and they, sometimes they just spontaneously fall down yeah but but that's, that's not in that's not i know this is like a it's an old saying actually chris it's not in good taste okay so yeah cargo space is run by chris brandia he travels the country looking for people to get into his van with him and hang out pretty cool um we yeah jay and i got in the van he made us um, basically disrobe right away. Maybe yeah. take our shoes off. Yeah, that's right. But whatever, it's cool. It was. It's all right. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a cool dude. I don't know. I kind of feel disconnected, even, dude. I can't even concentrate. I'm still so pissed off. I haven't seen my kids in two days. You pissed off at your kids? No, not at all. They were just sitting there. I felt bad for them. It was embarrassing. Uh, you're, yeah, you're. You seem like you're in shock right now. Well, a little right. bit. Uh, so Jay, Jay's personal problems are getting in the way of me actually being able to make this draw. That's not true. This looks fine. Yeah. I just I can't help you with the change in anything. Go back and forth um, from the mouse to the Wacom. So this is a good... Honestly, the way I feel is I kind of wish we would have never started Wacom. I could have done this all with my mouse. Well... Mouse, Texas. Well, that's actually... The Wacom's kind of cumbersome. Well, that one is because it's, like, gigantic, you know? Yeah, it really is. I think if you were if we were to buy one that were I don't know, maybe more up to speed of with today's modern technology, that one's kind of old. Yeah. 
But I'm not going to be able to afford anything after this because I've been working. I've been here for two days. I don't know if I'm. I can't go to work tomorrow. I don't think. I don't know how I'd get to work. Liz has a car, and this hotel has cost me thirty nine ninety nine a night. And then this phone call or this a Skype call is going to cost me. I don't know how much. Well, do they have free Kleenex there? They have. It's toilet paper, but it's one ply. <laughs> is there your nose? Okay, because I'm crying. Okay. Well, it's so easy for you to say. Alone because they're chrome. They're obviously reflecting the sand underneath them. Uh huh. And let's go ahead and bring this drawing home. Once again, I'm wasting a lot of time because Jay is not here to help me change colors. Well, I would be if I could be. You could have, you know, you could have came to pick me up or even like showed any kind of support. Yeah. Well, I was painting earlier and I couldn't really be bothered. Yeah, that's what you've been saying lately, and now I'm stuck here. Yeah, I'm kind of a slave to the easel these days. In the Pirate Cove Hotel or Motel. Okay, I'm I'm all I'm just cheating right now. I'm using the mouse because it's just a little bit faster. Uh huh. Um, so cargo space has graffiti on it, and if I remember correctly, it was flames. It wasn't flames. Yeah, I think it was flames. No, it was like uh, I don't even remember, but it looked cool. All right, I'm gonna lower the point size a little bit more. You want to make sure when you make flames that they have sharp tips. Yeah. So. So lower the point size to get a little bit sharper uh, flame tips on here. Well, it looks like uh, flames and lightning mixed together, which is pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to raise the point size back up, bring this thing home, and let um, let Jay watch some HBO. And nope, up. no HBO here. Oh, really? Yeah, just basic cable. It's like SD cables, not even HD. You have the cooking channel? No. Well, I don't know, actually. I don't think so. Well, I said I had spent like four hours watching C-SPAN. You should see if they do, because uh, Iron Chef might be on. Yeah. If well, you actually learn to cook, you know, you could probably help Liz out a little bit at the house. Yeah. Well, I, if I can get back in it. Right. Sorry about the poor lighting, too. These darn lamps, are, I don't know what kind of bulb is in this thing. Yeah, just the lamps by your bed on? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. A little room. Is there not an overhead light? Or is it there is, but it's real. It's real, uh, real uh, faint, and it's like uh, yellow color. It's kind of weird. It's probably a popcorn sitting and it's breaking up the light. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, everybody. I am done. This is what cargo space looks. That like. That looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, it looks really cool. Actually, I'm really happy with this drawing. Um, I think Chris Brandy from Cargo Space will be happy. It doesn't exactly look like flames. Um, the more I look at it, it looks a little bit like uh, Chris Brandia from Cargo Space ran over Chester Cheetah <laughs> on his drive to Chicago, but that's pretty cool too, though. Yeah, it's all right. It's good, man. And hopefully I'll get this straightened out, Chris, and I'll, I'll see if I can catch up with you, man. All right, man. Good luck. Thanks, dude. Yeah, karma catching up with you, you know. No, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching our show. Thanks for watching. Signing off from Pirate Cove Motel. Uh, yep. Yeah. Welcome, Texas. Texas.